Grammar 4, Chapter 17, Adverb Clauses, Part 1. Number 5. By that time, one event is completed before another event. For example, I. By the time he arrived, we had already ate. M. By the time he comes, we will have already ate. Number 6 is since. From that time to the present. For example, N. I haven't seen him since he left this afternoon. Notice, the present perfect tense is used in the main clause. Number 9. As long as and so long as. During all that time, from beginning to end. S. I will never speak to him again as long as I live. T. I will never speak to him again as long as I live. 10. Whenever equals every time. U. Whenever I see him, I say hello. Every time I see him, I say hello. Number 11. The first, second, third, last, and next time. Let's look at W. The first time I went to Riyadh, I went to a football game. X. I saw two football games the last time I went to Kobar. Y. The next time I go to Abha, I'm going to see a beautiful park. Now, adverb clauses to show cause and effect. We have because, since, now that, as, as long as, or so long as, and inasmuch as. This would mean because. Now, A. Now, the win now that the winter is finished, I'm going to the mountains of Abha. Now that means because now. Now that is used for present and future situations. B. Inasmuch as the two teachers could not reach an agreement, the possibilities for quality research are still excellent. Inasmuch as is usually found only in formal writing and speech. Number two, because of or due to are prepositions. For example, we stayed home because of the hot weather. We stayed home due to the hot weather. We stayed home due to the fact that the weather was hot. Sometimes, usually in more formal writing, due to is followed by a noun clause introduced by the fact that. Expressing contrast using even though. Expressing contrast, unexpected result, using even though. Because the weather was hot, I didn't go running. Because is used to express expected results. Even though the weather was hot, I went running. We can see here that even though is used to express unexpected results. Because I wasn't tired, I didn't go to bed. Even though I wasn't tired, I went to bed. Even though means despite the fact that and is a more empathetic version of though and although. Note, like because, even though introduces an adverb. Now, let's look at expressing direct contrast using while and whereas. Tark is tall while Talal is short. Hassan is poor while Sultan is rich. Ibrahim is rich, whereas Ali is poor. Whereas Ibrahim is rich, Ali is poor. While and whereas are used to show direct contrast. This is exactly the opposite of that. While and whereas may be used with the idea of either clause with no difference in meaning. Whereas mostly occurs in formal written English. A comma is usually used even if the adverb clause comes second. While is also used in time clauses and means during that time. While I was studying, the alarm clock rang. Would be a great example. Expression condition using if clauses. If it rains, the roads become flooded. If clauses, also called adverb clauses of condition, present possible conditions. The main clause expresses results. In a possible condition, it rains. Result, the roads become flooded. If it snows tomorrow, I will take my jacket. A present tense, not a future tense, is used in an if clause, even though the verb in the if clause may refer to a future event or situation, as in B. Words that introduce adverb clauses of condition, if clauses. If, in case, unless, whether or not, in the event that, only if, and even if.